Hey guys, what's up? I'm back on the Oregon coast again. It is mid-February and we have a minus tide today and I'm going to do some muscle hunting. Um, you've seen some other videos of mine. You know that I've been out here before doing this. What we're doing, what I'm trying to do is look for this real low tide. We have a minus about 1.5, which means it's a foot and a half lower than the normal tide. And it may not sound like a lot, but if you could look in front of me, here's some of the rocks that I used to get them on. But if you look, you can see how flat it is. So a foot and a half, when it's flat like this, that means a lot. So I'm just about to the end of the tide right now. So I have probably 20, 30 minutes to get my muscles and get back out here. So stay with me. I'll show you how to cook them up later too. I'm hoping. Uh, my wife probably will. Let's go get some. They are really good eating if you haven't tried them. What a beautiful, beautiful day out. It's about 50 degrees. Coming from Wyoming, that's pretty good. I think it's supposed to be too below tonight. So my wife and I enjoy this, our time in Oregon here, just because of that. So a lot of these rocks here, they do have mussels on them. Um, I like the ones that are further out if you get it. It just seems like they're a little fresher. These always seem to have more barnacles on them. Over here to check out and see if we can find some good ones. You can see how rough that ocean is. I think this tide's already coming in. I might have misjudged this. They say never turn your back on the ocean. Oh, no. I have a leak in my boot. Great. Well, we're getting here. So, let me see. Cross this water without getting my boot full. Well, my left one's good. Yep, there's a leak in the boot, that's for sure. Kind of protected with these rocks here, which is kind of nice. All right, here we go. Let's get some nice black ones. You can see right there. I think I'll go. I was going to go over there, but I think I might get wet with this hole in my boot. Now they pick these. You don't really need too much. The only thing you really need is a nice pair of dry boots which I don't have you know over calf height is always good in case you get something coming up behind you um, and I like a screwdriver you know you can pick them out a little bit easier you don't damage the other ones next to it if you use a screwdriver and then uh, just pick away from that let's see if I can get something going here it's always neat too because you have all these little tide pools that you can look at find things you know starfish and stuff like that so these, these aren't the best, but they will, they will eat good. So, basic screwdriver. Sometimes what helps too is to have a knife with you. started
Now between my wife and I, we'll probably probably eat two dozen. Usually most of you have them as an appetizer, that type of thing. So uh, we have to get a lot. And uh, you know we do it. Many times a low tide we try to come out. At least I do. Sometimes you gotta cut the beard off, they call it. It's how they attach themselves to the other. Sometimes it's easier with gloves as far as on your hands, you know, I'm bleeding already. But it's hard to get your fingers there and there to pick these out of there when you have a pair of gloves on. So I just try to do it without them. Just careful you won't hurt yourself. There's some big ones in here. But again, I don't like those big ones too much. Even if you cook them good and we'll steam these probably. I'm not sure what how I'm going to cook them. But they'll... Uh, Kind of get, I don't know, watery or gooey. And sometimes they get a little tougher. Now that's about as big as you'd want to go right there, I'm guessing. You can see how far from the ocean we are. You know, to the water's edge, I'm probably 75 feet, I guess. Maybe 100 feet. So, you don't have to get too close to the water. And it's good to have someone with you to help you look for, like say, those sneaker waves. People drowned out here every year because of them. Now, that's a perfect one right there. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is there's a biotoxin line that you can call here to make sure that the uh, it's legal or not. There's no biotoxins in the, the shellfish that you're harvesting. So um, I did call that before, and it's open for the, for the uh, mussels now. But um, one thing, I, I, as I took a break here, turned you guys off, I did go on the website and look and I was in error on the amount that you can keep of mussels so I can keep 72 so <laughs> I don't know what you would do with 72 unless you froze them or something I don't know so I'm gonna stay with with what I have right now one thing I forgot to tell you and, and what it makes it easy is you can see this this little what they call a beard you can find somewhere to set this down what you should do now while you, when you catch them I just I think it makes it a little bit easier is you pull that out um, then what you do is you just grab it and you kind of jerk it back and forth and it pulls it out so it leaves that nice and clean now this, there we go so anyway that's it they're easy to they're easy to take out but it's just one of those things that you have to you have to deal with and you know when they're when you're cooking them and you're steaming them wherever it is you gotta open them up anyway and sometimes you can take it out then um, but it is easier if you do it now and again as most of you know too you never want to never want to eat when it's open now see how this one's open here you can see that sometimes you can tell if they're bad or not yeah see how see how it's closing it just closed all the way so it's a good one you know you can tell usually if they're they'll be in pieces if they're not so that's that's pretty much my that's mine for the day I like to put a little bit of water in it when I'm carrying them back too alive and another thing when we get home another thing I do is is you put them in that water
You let them soak overnight. And a lot of times what they do is they'll purge a lot of that sand out. Just like a, just like a clam, same thing. Well, that's it, guys. I'll uh, meet you back at the house, and it'll probably be tomorrow before we eat these, since I like to let them set overnight. So we'll see you then. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this beautiful weather. And it is, it's gorgeous out there. Right? Can't say it enough. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Well, it's the next day, and we cleaned the uh, mussels, as you can see here. We took all the hair off it, all the barnacles off it, as you can see, and there's a little, couple little pieces of hair on there still, but it really doesn't hurt anything. But they're nice and clean and cold. I kept them in the refrigerator overnight in the salt water, and that's that's pretty important that you do that. If, if you put them in the water, it'll, it'll just kill them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make drunken chicken. This isn't our recipe, it's a recipe that we found online, and this is the first time we're trying it, but I think it's gonna be good. Um, they're mussels, honey. Mussels. What did I say? Chicken. Did I say chicken? chicken. <laughs> we'll have to go over there. Where did I say that? <laughs> it's okay. Leave it in there. Drunken chicken. Whatever. They don't look like chicken. <laughs> okay. This recipe is called drunken mussels not drunken chicken like i usually call it so anyway here's what we're doing today we're going to add chopped up garlic lemon zest some red pepper flakes some butter and some chopped parsley we're going to put it in a pan fry the butter up first then add the garlic and the pepper so let's do it Oh, it's Susie here. She's the cook, not I. I just supervise. Okay, we we'll put the garlic in. One thing you don't want to do is let that garlic burn. You just want to. Oh boy, it smells good already. Butter and garlic. I forgot to tell you too. It calls for uh, white wine. Now we're cooking about only one pound of mussels. The, the recipe we had calls for two pounds, I guess a pound a piece. So we're just going to cut the recipe in half. Lemon zest. Oh yeah, pepper lemon flakes. zest and a pepper. Now the pepper you can add as much as you want for your taste that you desire. We like it, we like spicy, but we don't like hot, hot spicy. So it's supposed to be about 45 seconds. But you let this sit, simmer. I think it's time for the wine now. Time for the wine. Time for the wine. Using this fancy Sutter home. Down the bread. Okay, bring that to a boil. Bring it to a boil. Okay, once you get it to a boil, you're going to add the mussels in right away. Cover it up. And after about a minute, you're going to want to stir it again. And then it cook for another two or three minutes after that. If you can't tell, we just stirred in the parsley. After about two minutes, you're supposed to... Uh, they're actually opening up, and this has been three minutes now, so almost four minutes, yeah. but I think we're just about done. So it's really fast, fast and easy. I guess the hardest part is, is cleaning them. You know, picking them is the fun part. Um, cooking's pretty fun, too, especially when you have someone cook for you. Okay, what do you think? I think are they open? Yeah. Now you can't tell me that doesn't just look delicious. Lemon on the side. Look at that garlic in there. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Voila. Now, does that look good? All right, so I'm going to taste them. I'll have Vanna hold that. So we have some garlic bread here too, and we put uh, toasted, we toasted it with, with uh, garlic butter on it. We have one of those small things. All right, it might be kind of hot to pick out of there right now. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, they are hot. Mm hmm. They're very good. I can taste a little bit of sand in it. I probably need to let them purge a little bit longer. Sometimes if we put like Quaker oats or cornmeal, they'll eat that and then spit out a lot of the gravel or sand that they have in there. But I have to say, they are delicious. To mm -hmm. dip your bread in the broth. Yeah. This is the best part right here. Mm. <laughs> the butter. I'll drink the wine too, get a little buzz. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's all I got for you. Try junk and chicken. I think you'll like it. Muscles. Junk <laughs> Anyway, that's all I got for you. <laughs> Try the drunken mussels. I think you'll like it. I did. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the episode, please subscribe, like, hit that share button if you would. And I'll see you next time on another adventure. Adios.